Friends, British pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Uh, a bit of a different scenery to what we've been looking at. We're getting back into the winter fishing. Pretty much everything's closed now until October, just to give the fish a, a bit of a rest, leave them to do their thing and have a break from people like me. Anyway, what we've got here in Topol is the local rivers that run into the lake. They stay open all year, and what we get is all the rainbow trout out of the lake push up into these rivers to do their spawning thing, basically a spawning run. And we get to fish for them all the way through, which is pretty cool. Most of the rivers have a winter limit, so once the fish get past that winter limit, no one can fish for them and they get left alone to do their thing in peace. And there's so many fish in this lake, it doesn't have an impact on them, not negatively anyway. And so far, what I've heard, things are looking pretty good for this winter. I was out with Dustin yesterday, and we had a bit of a catch up. Fished a different river, had a look around there to see what was happening. If you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna link that up here. Go check that out. We had a good fun day, caught some nice fish. So I'm on a different river today. I'm basically just having a poke around some different rivers this week in preparation for some guiding I've got coming up. Just to see how they're looking, just see what kind of fish are about, where they are, and just kind of what kind of shape the rivers are in. That's what we're up to today. Bit of a poke around, nothing too serious. Single space, swing some little flies maybe nymph a couple of pools. See what's happening. I just need to sit up. I just need to chuck a fly on, on the single spay rod. So what I've got here is, I've got Frank. Guys, you watch his videos, you will remember Frank. Haven't seen him for a while. This is the Helios 3 5 weight F. It's a fantastic rod, it's so nice. Mirage LT size 2 reel in the burnt orange. Sick. And then on here, I've got the Scientific Anglers integrated Skagit line, 210 grain, which goes really well with the five weight, and this is an intermediate sink, which I don't think they do anymore, but they do the floater, and that's, you know, just as good a line, and a bit easier to cast. On the end of that, I've got an eight foot sonar sink tip. Uh, this is the six inch per second one, just because it's what I saw on there from the last time I used it, whenever that was. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with that, because I'm basically lazy. All right, on there, I'm just gonna add about four or five feet of 2X, Absolute Supreme Tippet from SA. And now I'll put a little, uh, probably this thing here, the dust and tide, and I was using yesterday. Just because I assume it's gonna be pretty low and clear, because we haven't had any rain for a while. So we'll go small, we'll go subtle. It's not really gonna be ideal for swinging, but we'll have a go anyway. And we'll take the nymph rod as a backup. All right, so we're gonna go four, yeah, five-ish, five-ish feet. Doesn't really matter. All I've done is I've just uh, made a perfection loop in one end of that, 2x and then I'm just going to loop to loop that to the end of the sonar leader the sink tip the sinky bit loop to loop and then on there I'm just going to put this which is a tube fly shout out to Dustin for giving me this fly <laughs> let's just say at the end of the day yesterday I didn't give it back so it's basically mine so all I've done there is just attach that hook as you can see to the end of my 2x and now all I'm going to do now is slide that tube fly down to the hook and then push a little bit of rubber just over the hook there ready to go I'm excited I love single spay There's a fish, that was a fish. Tap, tap, tappity tap. There's a fish there. Money for jam. That's a fish. Yeah, oh, oh such a gentle take too, probably shouldn't have left it into that, but it did. 
Right, I'm just going to bang a few up this run here, just to, in, just to see if I can just pick up the fish and just fish the top of that, which I couldn't get to with the uh, the Ujima flip, you know, the swinging rod. There was plenty of fish in there. Can be fairly casual and quick about it all. There's a fish. Had to be, eh? Hey. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice. Nice one. So we can just bring down here into this quiet stuff. Rather than mess around in that fast water, you know, give yourself some some kind of a chance. Just gotta watch him near that tree. But I want him in here to land. Get him out that flow, you know. Just low rod angles, just trying to. Oof. He doesn't want to know, but just trying to. Man, that's a strong fish. Just again, just keeping that side pressure, just trying to persuade him to come this way. Her to come this way. Head up, come on. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. Wow, that's uh, an indication of the condition of the fish in here, then that's, that's pretty awesome. A perfect example of a New Zealand winter rainbow. That's just, that's just awesome. All right, I'll put a couple more through there, then I would like to get one of those on the swing, to be honest. Um, yes, I would. Yes, that's definitely a fish. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. That's what we came for. Oh. All right, let's get back into it. So that fish was, it was looking pretty good. I was pretty confident I was going to actually uh, land that fish. And uh, yeah, the hook just popped. It was a hell of a take though. It's a really cool hit. Just smashed it. That's the fish. There he is. Nice. Nice. That's what we came for. Oh, there's a lot of fish in there. It's a strong fish. Beautiful colours. Again, low rod angles, trying to get in at that current. Oh, that was bad net job. You, Jesus. That's like the worst net job ever. <laughs> time of year right so fish are thinking about spawning or are spawning so I just want to throw this out there so if you come across fish that are either paired up as in just a pair of fish that are obviously doing their thing courting doing their thing and or you see fish actively spawning and if you don't know what that looks like if you see a fish every now and then coming up on its side and doing this on gravelly kind of shallow gravelly water they're actively spawning, they're doing their thing. The female's laying her eggs, the guys will be nearby to fertilize those eggs. So either of those two situations, 
paired up fish or active spawning fish. Just don't fish for them. Leave them alone, walk past them, go and find some other fish that aren't actively spawning or paired up and fish for them. There's tons of fish in the river in the winter. You're gonna find more. Leave the ones that are actively doing their thing and paired up, leave them alone. Let them do their thing in peace, go find another fish. And also, you know, be aware of where you're wading in rivers. If you see big clear areas, try and avoid those. Don't walk across them. Those clean patches are where they've been cleaning away the gravel so they can lay their eggs, do their thing. And that's where your future trout come from. So be aware, keep your eyes open and try not to walk across those reds. Anyway, that's all. Just want to throw that out there. Just be mindful of that kind of stuff when you're fishing guys and um, do all good in the hood. Not as small as I first thought. That's what she said. <laughs> nice. <sighs> Just a cool fish. See you, lady. So what happens with the tube flies is when the fish is hooked, that then can move up and down the line and just leaves the hook in the mouth. So hopefully for a nice clean hookup. And then once you're finished, you just take that back slide that back into the tubing and you're good to go again dust in that fly is awesome you would think one of those guys would be angry enough to just give that a nudge oh right that guy there ho oh, ho smashed it smashed it Yeah, that was, oh, and he's off. That was cool, that was worth it just for the eat. I saw him just light up and just, just, just destroy it. Just went into kill mode. That was awesome. There's a fish. He's still on. There he is, boom. Nice. How cool is that? Bit of a chance. Now that current, get their head up. Yeah. Yo. Okay. So. Um, yeah. I went to look in one more piece of water, but there was people there fishing already so I just kind of left them to it and you know what I'm all right I'm okay with it I've had a bit of a poke around kind of got an idea what's going on up here at the moment this will be much much better when we get a bit more rain it brings the river up a bit we'll bring more fish in kind of freshen things up a bit and uh, she'll be pumping again I'm sure definitely some quality fish around much like the river we were in yesterday and I'm pretty sure all the other ones will be much the same too so I'm gonna go look at a different river tomorrow and just check that out so hopefully we can get a video out of that and um, catch a couple of nice fish a huge shout out to those of you who jumped on my patreon recently you guys rock and a massive shout out to the guys who have been on my patreon for a few months now some right from the beginning when I set it up big love to you just the support you give me really helps, really helps this channel. I earn a little bit off of YouTube, but it's not even close to covering what I pay and what I put into it to create this content. So everything helps. It all adds up and it all helps me do this stuff. All right, give me a thumbs up, everyone. Drop me a comment in that comment section below. It really helps the algorithm and all that kind of good stuff. Tell your friends, share the link, share the love. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.